Welcome you all back to another episode of Think Tech Hawaii's Human Humane Architecture. This is a very special episode because in our now almost half a decade and 173 episodes of this show looking for the human and humane in architecture, the question remains who is the creator of it? The human humane in architecture. The answer might be obvious, the human humane architect. But how does she, he look like that in person? Today's show will share with you the story of life, of the embodiment of the, for us, most human, humane architect, Gunter Despang. So uh, different than this picture here might indicate, a family wasn't easy to begin with uh, for, for Gunter. He didn't get to know his genetic dad, whom he lost in the Second World War in a Norwegian fjord. He owes his mom his additional second birthday of having avoided the bunker in which everyone died and had chosen the central train station where she and Gunther survived in the east in Dresden and them having found refuge in nearby Radeboil. The last time of the Second World War, he survived down south in Bavaria, where his mom found him a bonus dad, them adding his sister to his initial family that we see. On the left, it's Hilmer. And he was out, as you can see, with his later hosen and exploring what we like to call archie nature. And that was all out northwest in Bochum, uh, where generations together lived in this very humble abode. Him pretty much, uh, besides school, cultivating and educating himself and brothering his sister. Him venturing out and about as a nomad, as you can tell here, and thinking about the world out there as in the ports of what we see here, Bremen and Bremerhaven together with his mother and sister. Everything around their home and nearby Lüneburg. Those were the roaring 60s where they started and one started to ride in style. His parents uh, off to vacationing in what Germans and like to do at that time, driving south to uh, the Mediterranean region, to Italy, himself as well. But uh, his Citroen de Chevaux broke down near Innsbruck in Austria. And him, by now a student of architecture, getting, having to get himself an architectural job to get his car fixed. And while he was there, hitting the ski slopes, where the Beau Bachelor met his love of his life. And soon after that, married her in her alpine birthplace of Seefeld in Tyrol in Austria. Some saying that they also married because of me, their son, to the left, arriving around that time. And a few years later, on the right, they got me my sister. Our parents, having been true and still are true Lebenskünstler, artists of lives, those early 70s were also Gunther's pioneering days of practice, together with his two business partners, Wolfgang and Reiner, returning to his upbringing roots in Bochum with domestic tempered brutalism. For his family, he carefully custom crafted a rental sky lanai as a vital outdoor gathering place for a family and lots of friends. And as early inspiration and motivation for us, my sister and me, to later join our father's Berufung. That full of love, free spirit of those 70s, 
equally fueled his architectural envisioning. Transitioning into the 80s, him having gestalted the home for his parents way out, way out west. In those days of still real temperate climate winters, in one of these, this later had taken over from his bonus dad car, BMW 12 cylinder, saved him his life. The house is low key to the street and turning into a wide open topographic landscape inside. Anchored around the central fireplace, lounging, opening itself up to the forest landscape in the rear. That as you can see, we fully enjoyed uh, playing there. Human interaction, as you can see here, between my mom and my dad being the key for my father with all resulting in a fireworks of professional practice of a multitude of, as seen here, educational typologies. And as you can see here, cultivated centers like town halls, as well as urban rejuvenations and scales from the very macro to the very micro. He did similar for his own family, including sweat equitying and his very cosmopolitan Weltburger thinking making him a modern master of people and planet-friendly built environments. And around him, the growing family gathering. Here with his school buddies at their Roma Ristorante lunching, he was materializing the colossal, at this point continuing with Reiner in the 90s, which through his me, his son, also bringing him his first grandson, and a few years following his second grandson. And his daughter graduated from architectural school and them collaborating. In the 2000s, him establishing Despeng Architect with me, his son, and his daughter joined venturing together with her business partner, resulting in the typologically most comprehensive critical practice. Centered always around his clients' secret dreams, he helped them to bring out. The results, highly recognized, and him bringing the international national praising and, and acclaim home back to his and his fellow Gunther Banish's Saxonian roots, with him returning to Radeboil and adopting a neglected Zilla Villa. Here, to the left, back at his Bautzen birth house, around that time, his daughter bringing him his third grandson. Radeboil, as you can tell, becoming the family gathering place from there on, around which he's always collegially enjoying in Kultura. His Zilla Villa is neighboring Karl May's Villa Shatterhand and its continued celebration of the good and bad in all boys. He is following the emerging generation maturing, occasionally being back north, and later them visiting him in his east. Sympathetically supporting there the apple not falling far from the tree's dreams on their ongoing winding paths. Gunther and Radeboil continuing to be the headquarters, raking in recognitions, including for his homecoming to Bochum with these subway canopies. And it's where he evolves his sky lanai expertise, plus exceptionally additionally serving building culture on the other, the client side. Parallel, passing on his irresistible Vedel style to his thriving grandsons, plus bonus grandsons as his growing patchwork family. His always and forever young at heartness, centering him within, having his mentees appreciate his cultivated wisdom around his second birthplace in this, his East. As well, when reuni reuniting back North, him always there for his clients working and playing hard. To our always, everywhere, and most warmly welcomed father, grandfather, business partner, school buddy, friend, and husband, and many more to come following this show, we wish you our most human and humane human being architect the happiest and healthiest 80th birthday 
in your first and second birthplace, paradise. All right. So this about the most human, humane architect, and it's uh, being 80 years young. And with that, we see you next week for another episode of Human Humane Architecture. Bye-bye.